there, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com. My name is Kevin Dexter, joined by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride softball team, Bill Edwards. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing all right. Well, I'll take a look back now at this past weekend. Your first games at home at the Hofstra Invitational. You took on Maine and UConn, took three out of four games. But before we get to the games, nice to finally, after being on the road for so long, be back at home. I tell you, it is great, and, and we just love playing at home. We love our field. We, we love our fan support, and uh, people come out. It was a beautiful weekend, and people were out there, you know, cheering us on. So it's a it's a great environment. Well, you Maine and UConn, you play them tw uh, once each on Saturday, and mm -hmm. once each on Sunday. You take the two games on Saturday, you drop the one to Maine on Sunday, and then defeat UConn in that second game. What were your overall thoughts on the gameplay of the weekend? I thought when we came to play, we played very well. Um, I thought when 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 we were in. In the game mentally and physically, uh, I thought we made great adjustments. I thought we had some great at bats. We got some very good pitching at times, and um, it was it was good to see some some good things come out of a a weekend. Um, you know, we still have a lot of room for improvement, and we have to get better in certain areas. But um, this team is starting to show some potential. And the first game of the weekend was on Saturday against Maine, a one nothing game in nine innings. Olivia Gladius, 18 strikeouts, and you win it in the bottom of the ninth. What was going through your mind during that whole game? Is it always tough? I mean, all these years of coaching, but to have a game like that, a nine inning game, one uh, one nothing win in the end. I've been in a lot of those, and I just kept saying, Olivia keeps striking them out, you know, <laughs> because sooner or later we're going to get a run. If we can keep them at uh, at zero with the way that she was pitching, I knew sooner or later we would break through, and and um, which is what we did. And and she just was on fire and hit every spot and had a little hop to her ball, a little action. In the strike zone, which made it difficult for the main hitters to square it up, and it was really good to see her really starting to take command of the mound, which is what she has a presence to do. And what did you think of Olivia all weekend? Because she pitched in all four of the games, came in in relief for her, and we did a couple, and also had the big start, of course, with the 18 strikeouts and another start on Sunday. When you, when you got uh, Secretariat, you're right, you know, and and you know she's a horse, and and she's going to be doing a lot of throwing for us now, coming down the stretch here. And uh, you know, getting into conference play, and she's someone that when she's on fire and feeling good and 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 uh, in command, she's she can really dominate a game, and, and that's what we're going to need from her. You know, we're going to need her to step up and, and throw the way that we know that she can throw over prolonged periods of time, not just every other game, maybe every game. Um, we don't know how we're going to do it just yet, but uh, she's a kind of a of of a player that can really take responsibility and dominate the game, or at least control the game, which is what we want her to do. And how do you manage that going forward? Just, of course, this weekend, as we'll talk about in a bit, is the beginning of conference play, mm -hmm. but making sure that you throw her enough and not get her tired when it comes time for the tournament. You know, a lot of times, pitchers have to throw a lot to stay in shape, and they have to throw a lot to get into shape, and they have to throw a lot to stay sharp. Um, unlike baseball, where you count your pitches, we count pitches, but we count them a little bit differently than a baseball team You know, would, would you know, count their pitches. Um, I, I just watch the way the ball comes out of a pitcher's hands, and if the ball is slipping out and coming out nice and easy and she's not squeezed a little bit too tight when the ball starts to tumble, if she's releasing the ball real nice and relaxed and easy and the ball is coming out of her hand real easy, um, we'll, we'll just keep throwing her. Well, let's take a look now at the offense from this past weekend. You had a couple of different players step up. Someone you mentioned to me last week or two weeks ago that you thought was hitting the ball really well was Becca Bigler, and it seemed like that. she continued with that this weekend. Getting great swings, getting great at bats, hitting loud outs, and then every now and then she'll 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 you know fillet one over to right field and get a little dink, you know. But she's uh, she's she's really hitting the ball well, and she's on time. And uh, I keep saying the thing, you know, the uh, the same things about her is that she she looks good in the batter's box. And, and every time she, she takes a cut, it's a good cut and a good pitch. And even if she chases just a little bit, she's on time with the, with the right mechanics in order to hit that pitch that she might be chasing. So we just like the way she's swinging the bat right now. Another player, a freshman, that kind of came in and got a couple of big hits this weekend was also Aaron Trippy. Yeah, she's a, she's a freshman uh, who right now is playing like a senior. She's, she, again, is getting great at bats. Uh, we're, we're not catching her so much now, although I think we did give her one or two innings this, this weekend. But, uh, you know, she, she's natural in the batter's box. She looks uh, comfortable in there, which is what you want hitters to do is look comfortable. You don't want them to be chasing. You don't want them to be anxious. You don't want them to have the yips like in golf. You know, you, you want them to be nice and nice and comfortable in the batter's box, and, and she is. And she's also swinging the good pitches and on time with the, with the pitches that she's swinging at. Well, also uh, defensively over at first base now, Nicole Sosky getting some runs at first. What did you think of her here this week? Played, played defensively, did everything that we wanted her to do. Um, you know, when you lose a, a tremendous player in Hirschfield, um, someone's got to step up. And um, 
Ozzy has stepped up tremendously for us, and she's doing just a great job. And, and she's, you know, she's such a hard worker that it's good to see her get rewarded with some playing time here. Because for, for you know, uh, three years she's worked so hard here, and now this is her opportunity. And we keep telling the kids to Wally Pip somebody. You know, Wally Pip is the one that Lou Gehrig replaced him. You have know, the New York Yankees and went on the incredible consecutive game streak. So, you know, we tell our kids when you get the opportunity to get in there, Wally Pip somebody. You know, come in, take advantage of your opportunity, and, um, you know, play play as well as you can play. And, and right now she's doing everything that we're asking her to do. I'm looking forward to this weekend now. It's the first conference series of the year, and you happen to be going down to Atlanta to take on Georgia State. Both of your teams tied for first in the preseason poll. We know what happened last year at the end of the year. Is it a different approach for this now because it's such an important series and being the first conference series of the year? You know, it's funny is that we end up playing them, I don't know how many times, at the end of last year, mm -hmm. six six straight times, and now we have to open up with them two, you know, three more times. So that's like nine straight conference games against the same same opponent. But no, you know, it's you know, it's it's just another game and everybody says, Coach, how can you say that you played Georgia State and everything that you had um, alluded to and, and we like to take every game as though it was just another game and we go out there and play every game as hard as we can play it, whether or not it's against a Georgia State or a Tennessee or a Michigan. You know, they're all the same, we have to play the same way and um, that's that's sort of our philosophy. Um, so we'll go down there, we know it's a conference game, we know it's important. But we're going to try to maintain a good tenor to the approach. And obviously, you, as you mentioned, now playing Georgia State so often at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, you're pretty familiar with the team. What are you going to expect to see in terms of like a scouting report of this team coming up? Really, really good pitching for them. Their pitchers locate the ball, you know, in, in great spots. Um, and we have to do a good job of recognizing uh, what we're trying to do. We have to have good approaches in, in the batter's box against two quality, really quality pitchers. They're not going to overpower you, but they're going to get you to hit that weak ground ball. They're going to get you to pop the ball up. They're going to keep you off balance. They're going to keep you guessing as to whether or not they're going to go inside or outside on you. Um, but they have two quality pitchers that, that really will keep them in the game. If they play good defense and if they get the timely hits, they're going to win. If we play good defense and we get the timely hits, then maybe we have a shot at winning. So it's 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 going to be, I think, a very very close and very competitive series. I think you kind of just alluded to it, but final question for you: What's going to be the key to picking up some victories in the first conference series this weekend? You know, obviously, um, it's always pitching in defense. You, if if you're not getting it in the circle and if you're kicking balls around that you got to make you know plays on, um, that'll have an um, an effect on the outcome. So pitching and defense wins championships, and of course, if you get the timely hitting uh, to go along with your pitching and defense, you're going to win a lot of games. So that's what we're hoping to do this weekend. All right, well, Bill Edwards and his squad head down to Georgia to take on the Georgia State Panthers in the first conference series of the year this weekend. Coach, good luck, and thanks as always for the time. Right, always a pleasure. And thank you for tuning in to the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com.